Welcome, everyone. Good boy, Tucker. This is learning at its most fun. Welcome, everybody, to another edition of Building Your Tech Stack with Redtail CRM. I'm your host, Austin Johnson, trainer and subject matter expert here at Redtail Technology. And today we have our friends from Health Pilot joining us to tell us about how Medicare changes your financial planning conversation. I'd like to welcome in Shannon from Health Pilot. Shannon, good morning. Hi, good morning or good afternoon here where I am. <laughs> yes. Shannon, uh, thank you for joining us today. If you could just briefly describe your role at Health Pilot and tell us about your journey. Sure, absolutely. So here at Health Pilot, I'm a senior director and I run our enterprise sales efforts through our financial partner channel. So that's um, working with different firms throughout the wealth management industry and making sure that they're aware of our new technology and how it best relates to what they do on a day-to-day -day basis in their planning conversations. Um, in terms of how I got here, um, I've always worked in financial services and the wealth management industry. Um, with my latest employment before Health Pilot was with the InvestNet team. Um, and so I was managing a group of clients there and I had been exposed to Health Pilot as InvestNet has Health Pilot as one of their partners for their exchanges. And um, I heard more about the Health Pilot story and it spoke to me pretty personally because I handle a lot, a lot of stuff for my mom. She had suffered a stroke. So I do a lot of her finances and other things that she needs to get taken care of. And one of those was Medicare. So when I was presented with what Health Pilot was doing and what the mission was at Health Pilot, I thought it was a fantastic um, reason to start a company, to build technology, and it fit perfectly into the financial advisor and planning conversation. So they needed somebody to come over and um, fill this role and somebody that had wealth management experience and contacts out here in the wealth management area. And so it was a perfect fit at a good time. Awesome. So Shannon, tell us a little bit more about this story or this or this mission. What What is Health Pilot and how did the company come to be? Yeah, absolutely. So um, Health Pilot has a really clear mission. So it's to make healthcare easy, efficient, and effective. And so what we do here is in the Medicare industry. Um, and the story behind forming healthcare was that there's a number of our founders that had worked at a number of different sort of healthcare um, industry companies and had just been exposed year after year at some of the pain points that Medicare presents to all of our seniors. And so, you know, there's 65 million Medicare eligible seniors in America um, with baby boomers aging in. There's three and a half million people turning 65 every year. Um, so that comes out to over 10,000 people a day enrolling in Medicare. So it is crazy and it's agnostic in terms of how much wealth you have. If you're an American and you turn 65 or sometimes even beforehand, you have to deal with Medicare. Um, so it kind of, it is what it is. And unfortunately it's super complex. And so a number of people um, decided to leave their roles there, create Health Pilot. They built a really amazing, powerful technology to make finding your Medicare insurance very easy so that all of the seniors can be informed and comfortable with the coverage that they have. And if they need to make a change, they understand what they're getting and just really building a better sort of environment ar around what is out there today. Awesome, Shannon. So what does that mean for me as an advisor? What, what value does Health Pilot deliver to either me as an advisor or my client? Sure. Um, so obviously, like I just said, there's a ton of people that are, um, you know, getting exposed to Medicare. They're looking for guidance. Um, and as we all know, and we've been aware in this industry that the financial advisor role has been increasing, um, dramatically over being mainly just somebody you look to for investment and portfolio advice, but really now more of a wellness advisor or, or a life coach almost sometimes. And so as advisors are looked to to solve for a lot of different problems outside of simply what does your 401k look like and your IRA situation, but now it's, you know, they come to you for all different types of solutions. And so as an advisor, this is something that you can put into your tool belt and you have for anybody that is in your client book who's over 65 or even aging into that 65th birthday, so coming right up into Medicare, they're looking for guidance. They're looking for somebody to make it a little bit more clear. 
Um, and what we do at Health Pilot is we don't ask you to be the Medicare expert by any stretch. We don't want to add more to what you're already doing on a daily basis, but we want to give you a solution. And so Health Pilot allows you to refer your clients through an advisor portal over to Health Pilot. Um, and then your clients can go through a really easy technology, which I'll show you today. Um, and it really guides them to a plan that makes sense for them to their specific healthcare needs. So again, moving away from the environment that it is today, where oftentimes it's very um, high pressure and sales oriented. And so people tend to get uh, maybe pushed into things that aren't really what they need and maybe more related to somebody's commission structure. So getting away from that. And then also just building that Medicare muscle, which is what we call it here. So getting into the habit of realizing Medicare is an annual purchasing decision. So you need to be looking at it every year, but more than 70% of people are not. Um, and so when plans change, which they do every year, people aren't aware. And then their new plan coverage starts in January and they're caught off guard that maybe prescriptions aren't covered the same or their favorite doctor isn't, isn't in their network any longer. Um, so really just making sure that when it comes to financial plans, and the success of that financial plan, that insurance, and Medicare insurance specifically, is a really important ingredient to pay attention to. Well, that all sounds that all sounds really great, Shannon. Can you maybe give us a, a demo or presentation on how it all works? Yeah, I have um, a couple slides that I can pull up. So hang on one second. Um, get that. Stop yours and pull up mine. Okay, so we did cover some of what. We're going through, but I just want to kind of outline what I'm going to be showing you. So I said that we have an advisor portal. Um, that's really just the referral tool that the advisors are going to access to send their clients a referral. It's really simple to use. Um, what our real bread and butter is here of our technology is this digital platform that transforms how seniors interact in finding their Medicare insurance coverage. So again, pulling out that high pressure, salesy sort of pushy environment making it where the seniors in the driver's seat. So they're going through the technology at whatever speed they need. We're giving them tons of information and education before they make any sort of an enrollment or change decision. Um, and then these recommendations we're making are powered by our um, AI tools. Um, so I'll get into a little bit of how that works when I'm going through that client demo, but really, really powerful and much different than anything that you're kind of seeing out there in the industry that's simply a Medicare finder tool. Um, really honing in on exactly what this specific client in our tech needs. And then as, as sort of to wrap it up in a bow is we're building this lifelong commitment. So moving away from having it be a one-time transaction and then the interaction between us and the client being gone, but having them come into our technology um, multi-times throughout the year, updating their medications, maybe updating the doctors, kind of building their health relationship and profile with us so that we can monitor their plans and we can monitor their health and make sure that if there's any sort of material change to either one of those, they're in the know and they know when the time is for them to go review things that are important for their insurance coverage. Um, so this is a, a funny slide that I think everybody is familiar with all or some of these terms. Um, Medicare is incredibly complex and confusing. It is the government uh, healthcare for anybody over 65. Um, I think there's a lot of misconceptions about it, and I wanted to go through some of those. Um, really simply, 80% uh, of Medicare eligible people do not understand what makes up original Medicare, which is like the base of Medicare. Um, so to give everybody a quick overview, you know, original Medicare um, kind of encompasses Part A and Part B, um, and that's what you need to get set up. And unfortunately, you know, it's not free. And so you pay for it and it comes out of your social security. So there's a lot of stuff to kind of figure out as you're looking at your retirement and structuring what Medicare is going to look like in social security. Um, so you're paying for it. And then also it only covers 80% of your healthcare costs, which I think that maybe not everybody's aware of. And so we exist here at Health Pilot and all of the companies who have Medicare insurance options are to, to kind of sit aside the Medicare um, offering, and then they make up that extra 20% of cost that the client would see if they didn't have this additional insurance coverage set up. So just the understanding of that is not clear for people. Um, almost 70% of people don't understand what Medicare Advantage is, and Medicare Advantage is even a little bit more convoluted, and it's Part A and B and D, which is a prescription drug coverage, and it's got some other coverage in there. Um, so a lot of just pieces to understand and you know wrap your head around clearly about what you're signing up for. And lastly, you got all of this misunderstandings. Almost 60% of people stay in their plan year over year. 
So this goes to that building that Medicare muscle. We need to build it. We need people to be more informed about their healthcare coverage and their healthcare in general, and not just stay in a plan because they don't understand the aspects of what Medicare is doing for them. Um, the last thing I kind of wanted to re review before we jump into a demo um, is just sort of the disconnect around actual costs. Um, so generally speaking, people are spending about 4,500, sometimes more than that, um, but they're not even understanding that that's what they're spending. They're sometimes expecting to be spending 1,500. And so that's pretty big disconnect when it comes to out-of-pocket costs. Um, and if you have an unexpected health situation take place, you might be spending a lot more than that $4,500. So really trying to just better align your expected costs. And then also if something unexpected were to happen, what those costs could look like too. So again, just building up that information and educational base so that we're not going to have a, a financial plan that's completely disrupted if something happens to somebody healthcare and they can feel comfortable and the advisor can speak to them on an annual basis about Medicare, make sure that they're paying attention to it and just sort of doing the best that they can to um, set themselves up for success the best they can, even though some of it is unexpected. So let me hop over here. I'm going to first show the advisor portal. So that's this screen here. After I show you the advisor portal, I'm going to show you how we integrate with Redtail, and then I'll show you the actual client experience. So all of our advisors get access to this portal. I had mentioned it's a really simple tool. It's You could think of it as like a CRM for Health Pilot. Um, you're really going to just manage your clients over here, and they're in here. You can identify then what their age is, which allows us to dictate that Medicare eligibility status. So you can see here a number of them are Medicare age. This person here, Jane, she's almost 65, so that's a really great time to reach out to Jane because she's just facing Medicare for the first time. It's called her initial enrollment period. Um, so we give them the tool to allow, you know, you checkmark Jane, say you had a conversation with her over the phone or in your office. You want to send her an email referral. It's that easy. It's one click. You pull down exactly what template and what you want to talk to her about. She's new to Medicare. That would be a good one for her. And then we're going to give this to her. It's going to come from Health Pilot. It's going to copy the advisor. And Jane will get her own personalized link to travel into that Health Pilot technology. Um, so super easy from the what the advisor has to do in terms of their part that they can play in here. And then the advisor can sort of stay as involved or as removed as they'd like to be. What we do for the advisor, though, is we keep them in the loop. So we're not sharing back any protected health information from any of the clients. But we do let them know in this health pilot status where they are in this journey with us. You know, if they become a policyholder, if maybe they're just somewhere in our technology, or maybe you've just simply sent them a referral email. What we do is give you a little bit more visibility. So if you're used to maybe referring Medicare questions out to a Medicare agent, or you send them to Medicare.gov, you lose sight completely about what they've done. You know, did they enroll on time? What kind of plan did they enroll in? What kind of costs are they going to see? We're giving that back to the advisor so that you have a little bit more of insight without getting too involved again into their Medicare decisions. But from a planning aspect, you can see estimated costs, which are great for the planning conversations, and estimated savings. So the estimated savings comes from if these people were Medicare age and already had an insurance coverage set up and they made a switch through Health Pilot, we'll let you know what they're saving from your referral and instruction over to Health Pilot. So really useful, um, really simple to kind of set up. Um, to, to add your clients here below, we have, of course, an import my clients from CRM with Redtail. You can import your clients directly from Redtail. If you have a client in your office right there, you want to just add them while you're talking to them and even launch the client portal with them, you can do that. And then you even have a unique advisor link. Um, this link is great. We have a number of advisors who put it in like emails or newsletters. Sometimes they put it on their website as just sort of an added resource. You know, they have some of their other tools up there for their clients to access. This is just another sort of added value that they can access when they're on their website. Um, but that's pretty much it. So it's your tool to identify clients that need a referral, make that referral, and then check on where they are in their status with Health Pilot. So I'll hop from here over to Redtail to show you, besides just importing clients from CRM, we deepened our integration with Redtail to make it even easier so that you can refer your clients over to Health Pilot but you don't need to actually leave the Redtail user interface. Um, and we thought that was really powerful because there's a lot of tech you know, tools that advisors need to use and a lot of that swivel chair that's going on. And so this makes it a little bit more seamless. So first off, um, you'd go up to your integrations and make sure that Health Pilot is set up. So you can do that by going over to your name, manage your integrations, and you can pull up Health Pilot and go ahead and fill out your information for the firm. And we'll go ahead and set up that advisor portal for you in the back end. 
But once you're in a client record and you've already set up Health Pilot, you'd pull up Jane Smith here. Um, I set myself a reminder that I need to send her a referral. And I'm going to go up to the integrations that I can use with Jane now that I have her client record pulled up. I'm going to type in Health Pilot. And this little modal pops up. Um, super easy to use. So there's four things you could do here. How it works gives you a quick little video of what that client experience looks like. Preview email is what you'd be sending to her when you send a referral email. So you can see what the actual referral email looks like before you send it. You can send the email, which I just pressed there. And that's what I'm doing right now. Um, so exactly what I showed you in the advisor portal, I checked Jane's name and I clicked send an email referral. Now I'm doing that right within Redtail. Um, so super easy. And if I want to single sign on over into that advisor portal and check on my other clients or check on some statuses and things like that, I can single sign on directly into that portal. But if I don't want to, I know that I've checked the box. I sent Jane her referral email and I can get out of this screen and I'm good to go and move on through whatever else I need to do in Red Tail today. Um, so super excited that we built that integration out. Um, hopefully it makes it a lot easier for people who utilize Health Pilot to do it right from within Red Tail's user interface. So I will um, hop over and I think we're still good on time. So what I thought would be really powerful here, besides showing you how you can introduce this to your clients, I'm going to show you exactly what the clients see as they go through the technology. And as Austin said, please um, type questions in and we can address them at the end. Um, usually we get lots of questions about all different kinds of Medicare topics and I'm happy to take them and I can also follow up with you after the fact as well. Um, but what we're going to do here is we entered a zip code. The Medicare plans are down to the county level. And so by doing the zip code, I'm pulling in the background all of those available plans to the sample senior that I'm going to build. And then I'm going to enter my email address which is great because I don't need a username or a password. So every time that I wanna access this, you're gonna enter your email or your phone number and you get a four digit code via email or text. So that way, if you get interrupted or maybe you wanna run through everything at home and then the senior wants to go see their son or daughter that weekend and show them the different offers that they have, they can hop back in very easy with just the dual factor authentication. So I'll just wait a second and we'll get my code over here. So we got 4125. We'll enter it and now we're going to go ahead and build a health profile for this senior. So we're going to tell, she's going to tell us a little bit about herself, starting with where are you in this Medicare process? A lot of times people are over 65 already have part A and B set up. If they're working, they might have one or the other set up. And then of course, if they're just aging into Medicare, they might have neither. In which case we prompt them with a little bit more background info, we give them a little Medicare basics uh, video and a lot of resources that guide them to the right place to get everything situated. But for this sample, I'm going to say that I do have Medicare Part A and B set up. Because I have Part A and B, that's probably a good assumption on our part to, to say where's your current coverage. Most people don't just have original Medicare set up, they do have this additional coverage like I mentioned set up to cover those additional costs. So we're going to ask them where their current coverage is. So I'll put in an example, Aetna Planner. And now we're going to pull all those details in the back for comparison purposes, which is great. Here's where they let us know, you know what direction they want us to take. They, the nice thing here at Health Pilot, we offer all the different types of Medicare insurance. So that's Medicare Advantage, Medicare Supplement, and Prescription Drug. Um, we have Please Guide Me here, this fourth button which will show them every option, which is really great because a lot of times if you're talking to a Medicare agent, they usually just, you know, just sell Medicare supplement or just sell Medicare Advantage. In this case, we show you all of it. You can compare the types of insurance and compare apples to apples and see what makes the most sense for you. Um, and you can always just go through and check one of those. So if you simply um, want to just check your prescription drug plan, which could make a big difference in um, cost changes year to year, that's a great exercise to get into. So maybe you keep your Medicare supplement plan the way that it is, that's great, but do that prescription drug Medicare checkup and that would still be really useful. The next screen here, we're gonna ask about prescription drugs. This is a huge um, cost item of insurance. So they wanna make sure they're entering their drugs here. It's super easy to pull up with a couple letters, but before even doing that, they can also import their drugs. So this is something new this year for Health Pilot. They simply allow this quick HIPAA authorization and this will actually pull in two years of their pharmaceutical history. Um, so it makes it really easy to save them from a data entry standpoint, but more importantly, it makes it much more accurate. So if somebody has um, prescriptions that aren't in their medicine cabinet in front of them right now, 
but maybe are really expensive, we can remind them that they take them and they can pull those in and then we'll get a really perfect, accurate cost picture. So we'll go ahead and pull those in. Next up is pharmacy. So they're gonna tell us which pharmacy they like to use. They can add in their address here. We'll pull up all the nearby pharmacies, tell us which one they like to use. Um, in that drug import, we also can pull in pharmacy and doctors. So if there were any of those in that drug import, it would populate also over here on the left where it would say, it looks like you have five prescribing doctors. Would you like to pull them in? They could do that as well. And it saves them a little bit again on that data entry, which is great. But just for sample purposes, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll put in one doctor over here. You can add up to 10, which is great. So if there's a, a host of doctors that your clients like to use, they can go ahead and put them all in there. They're going to let us know how they interact with the healthcare system in the previous 12 months. So really three simple questions, but this more than doubles our predictive analysis that we run. So what we're doing in the background here is building a health profile of this sample senior, but this is allowing us to compare her information to billions of different anonymized medical claims data that we have. And it allows us to create a cohort of people that look and feel like the person in our technology. With that, we can then um, predict how they'll interact with the healthcare system in the upcoming 12 months. So super useful, powerful information there, not just how people used to act, you know, and what you did last year, kind of dictating what you're going to do this year, but really by evaluating people who look and feel like you, how you'll interact in the upcoming 12 months. This will then direct us to the recommended plans, and then we can simulate this information across all of those plans that are available at that zip code level and make the perfect recommendation and the most optimal plan for this specific senior. So really exciting stuff, really powerful. And you can tell the process here is really quick and easy to get through. So what I'm doing here is just adding some additional benefits. Maybe if I just retired and I came off an employer plan, dental and vision coverage or something I'm used to having and I wanna shout it out on the recommended pages. Um, if I have two houses or three houses and I'm traveling between, maybe coverage is really important to me. So maybe less cost focus and more coverage focus. I want to make sure that I'm not going to have trouble finding a doctor. And these last two questions are really also um, additional steering as to what's important to this senior in our technology. Um, is it lower monthly premiums or perhaps all year um, out-of-pocket maximums that are more important? They can let us know what's more important to them specifically. And also back to that sort of doctor coverage. So if, again, if you have somebody that's traveling all over the place and they don't really care too much about costs, but really important, you know, that they have coverage when they need it and where they need it, they can let us know which one's more important. But you might have people that are very cost centric and they can choose that first one. The great thing is, is we enhance it so they have these options, but if they click all factors, we weigh everything and then score all of the plans one to 100. So that's it. So we went through the process. We're clicking that it's enrollment period. Um, and we're going to run that algorithm. So again, building that cohort of people that look and feel like this sample senior I just built. So 800 similarly standing people, over 100 plans available. So think of how overwhelming that is if you just dropped into Medicare.gov and tried to figure out where to look first. This is, again, giving them a solution that's going to guide them to a plan that makes sense for them in an unbiased way. So we're going to give them their options here. And when I said, please guide me, that's why now we're showing on Medicare Advantage on the left there. And then that Medicare supplement plan with the prescription drug plan below it on the right. So this is that plan type comparison kind of thing happening here. Um, first thing you probably notice are these green numbers. So these are savings that this person would have coming into one of these new plans. So they might think, oh my gosh, $2,300, that's a lot. Let's show me the math. I wanna see how this works. This is gonna take that current Aetna plan that I put in as an example next to the suggested plan over on the right, and they can see exactly where the differences are in the expected costs. Um, so this really speaks to part of our mission, making um, Medicare much easier to understand, everything much more clear. We wanna arm them with information before they feel like they need to make any decision that's gonna change anything. But they can kind of page down here, see everything that we went through that process with a green check mark or a red X, figure out if maybe this is a great plan, but maybe those vision discounts are really important. They can figure out if they want to look for another plan. If they think everything looks good, but maybe they want to see some of these other options, they can go ahead and do that. And all this does is kind of pin that health pilot recommended plan right here and then allows them to toggle through here. So we're not going to let them lose sight of what our data is telling them is the best plan, but maybe they want to go through and they really like Humana. And so they'd love to look at more detail here. They're welcome to do that. They can view details and apply, and we'll keep all of those findings on one tab and then pop up a new tab that gets into that specific plan. 
So what this does is just really dig into that explanation of benefits sort of packet that you get that's 15 pages and you kind of have to sift through and make sense of. And we've made it really easy to understand bite-sized pieces. Um, you know, so what am I paying per month? Uh, this is great. I can see the math again as to the difference of my, my current plan. What's my out-of-pocket maximum? You know, if I run into the hospital stay, God forbid, what am I going to be looking at from a cost perspective? So I have a better understanding of what to expect. I can make sure all of my doctors are covered and what it would cost to see them. And then this is really useful. So as seniors get older, they're going to be on, uh, unfortunately, a lot more medication. So not only are we saying, hey, this is covered, but we're going to let them know what they're going to pay all year long for the medication. So they can drop this down and see exactly what that medication is going to cost. If they were going to cross into a different coverage period, they would see exactly what month their prices might go up or down um, so they can properly budget their lives. And then throughout the year, as part of sort of that you know, relationship building, we invite them to come back into the technology, update their medications, and then we can show them exactly what it'll do to their month-to-month -month cost, which is really great, really easy to understand, um, and no surprises there. And then at the bottom here is just some of those ancillary extra benefits that this specific plan has. So they can kind of dig into that information. If everything looks great and they feel comfortable, they can hit apply here. And the whole enrollment um, application process takes place within our health pilot technology. Um, so they're not getting sent to a carrier to go finish the enrollment or anything like that. If anything additional is needed from that carrier, we are the conduit between the client and the carrier. So um, extra things needed or extra questions or anything like that, they're gonna be dealing with health pilot the whole time. Um, and before I kind of wrap up the demo, I do just want to point out this live chat here. So at any point, if anybody needs help, we have a live chat. It's a team of licensed individuals in our Nashville office. But the great part is, is they're not commissioned. So they're just there for guidance and support. I'm not going to push anybody into any sort of plan, just kind of arm you again with information to make sure everybody's um, properly informed before they make those decisions. They can share screens. They can do phone calls, emails, chat, whatever kind of fits what the client needs. But that is our technology. Um, and like I said, if you have questions, please throw them in the chat and I will throw up one more screen um, just to make sure we know how to, and I'm skipping ahead here, I apologize, um, get in touch. So if you feel like you wanna see a little bit more, you can get in touch with our advisor team. You can set up a short demo. Um, it's healthpilot.com backslash advisor dash demo. And then if you just have questions, you can reach our advisor facing team at advisor at healthpilot.com. Um, so we're at the ready to kind of help you with anything you might need. I'm gonna pop right back up here. Um, this is just pointing out that annual enrollment period is right now. So while there are great times throughout the year to be talking about Medicare, this is sort of high Medicare time. So October 15th to December 7th, every single year is that time where people can make a lot of Medicare changes. Um, so everybody who's 65 and older um, would really benefit from an introduction into the new health pilot technology that's available for them. They can run through the Medicare checkup I just shared with you and just make sure that their insurance coverage is going to fit them next year as well. Thanks, Shannon. Did you go but yeah, back to that Let's Connect yeah. slide. So again, if you're interested in learning more about health pilot and its offering, feel free to check out either of these two resources. Awesome, Shannon. Well, I think that's all our questions for today. Thank you so much for your time and showing us yeah. around health pilot. I'm always excited to see more insurance-oriented integrations coming into the Red Tail ecosystem and really helping advisors with a difficult conversation around Medicare. And so uh, I'm excited for what Health Pilot can bring to some of these financial planning conversations. So again, thank you for showing it to us. And um, again, if anybody wants to reach out, healthpilot.com is the place to go or send them an email. Thanks, everybody. Thank Have a great day, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us today for this particular session. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 800-206-5030, option three for support, or just shoot us an email over to support at redtailtechnology.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.